good. Both teams shooting the ball well. 60% for the Clippers, 50% now for the Mavericks. Oh, a hard foul by Morris. And Doncic's up. He wants to go back at him. As we just mentioned, these two have had a bit of a history. Of course, it was in that last game where Morris walked behind Doncic. He said it was unintentional, but stepped on his sneaker, knocking it off. Doncic with that left ankle injury. And to me, this is clearly a flagrant. Clearly. Well, there's two things that are clear here. That's a flagrant foul. And Doncic doesn't want to fart Marcus Morris Sr. <laughs> Those things should be clear. That is a hard foul. It's and it's also it's it's the wind up and impact. Doncic was asked about that play from yeah, game five. We have a defensive foul followed by a hostile act afterwards. We're going to check the review. Now that's definitely going to be a flagrant one. Doncic's so upset. He was talking about that play from game five and said he, that he hopes it was not intentional and they asked him would you want to talk to him about it if he wanted to say something and Doncha said I don't want to talk to him he's been saying a lot of bad stuff to me in all the games here's, the, here's my question though Mike if, I, if I'm the referee and I'm viewing this in the back of my mind I'm, I'm, I'm remembering the history that has taken place in the previous ball game so that, that very well could mean Morris ejected out of this ball game I, I think they couldn't have it as a flagrant too when you saw how it was officiated yesterday in the Houston game but when I look at that play where he stepped on his foot I I didn't see anything intentional well Morris vehemently denied said he would never do anything to intentionally injure someone now would he verbally go at guys from start to finish absolutely that's one of the things he tries to get under guys skin but he said there's no way it was intentional the Mavericks some of the Mavericks certainly disagreed but on that last drive Doncic is giving as much punishment early on as he received until the very end. You're right. Two things. I agree that I didn't think Morris stepping on his ankle was intentional, but here he's given as much, but it's not dirty. The dirty play comes from Morris. To me, I would not be surprised if he's thrown out. I agree. I, you watch how they ejected. I saw a flagrant one yesterday. We had in our game, the guy barely touched the guy, so I, I don't know how these are officiated. All right, right now let's bring in Steve Javi, our referee expert. Steve, you've seen the play. What's your view? Yeah, Mike, you're, you're dealing with two fouls here, actually. You remember, initially it was a foul going to the basket after the gather for a two-shot foul. Now you have the swipe and a hit upside the head that there Morris delivers on Doncic. The the so you're going to have oh, two on, fouls. Steve, you're hold on, have Steve, two hold on. Shots. The second act during the dead ball is a flagrant foul, penalty two, resulting in ejection and two more shots. However, we will shoot four to make three because you can only score three points on this play. And their ball will be side out with 24 on the shot clock. So, Steve, that's exactly what you were saying. The foul coming first and then the flagrant coming after the initial foul call, correct? That's correct, Mike. So, in this situation, and I would deem it to be a flagrant two, I'm assuming, because he hits him pretty hard upside the head. And so what, what Doncic will have, he'll have four free throws to make three shot, three points. So it is a flagrant two foul. So Morris is done. Flagrant two is automatic ejection. And what I learned a couple days ago, Mike, is it has to be for a flagrant two. All three officials have to agree and the replay guy. So it, whereas in a flagrant one, you know, the crew chief can just make the decision unilaterally or they can have two of the three think it's a flagrant one and so everybody agrees that it's a flagrant two and so it's a big big loss for the mavericks and if you're the clippers with thoughts and ideas of winning the whole thing you cannot have situations like that you can't have a guy i mean he's too valuable to this basketball team he's the primary defender on the best guy on the opposing team he's needed on the floor 